Japan. It has always intrigued us with its culture and lifestyle. There is always so much to discover about this fascinating country. Did you know that the only name in the world with the title of Emperor is the Emperor of Japan? This reign has been continuing in the same family for 2,500 years, so they are the oldest dynasty in the world. Emperor Naruhito In 2019, after his father Akihito abdicated, he inherited the throne. They are believed to be descendants of the Sun Goddess, and their family history goes back to BC. It dates back 600 years. However, as a result of the Japanese losing the Second World War and the two atomic bombs dropped on the country, they suffered heavy losses in the war, and the Emperor's privileges were greatly restricted with the Constitution prepared in 1947. The Emperor is limited to symbolic roles, such as performing acts and matters of state as stipulated in the Constitution. Like in Britain and Scandinavian countries, the Japanese monarch does not have a political function. According to the Japanese, the name of the country is not Japan, it is Nihon, which means the place where the sun rises. For Japan, the sun is a national symbol and also appears on the Japanese flag. Country is often known as the land of the rising sun. Japan is the 10th most populous country in the world with a total population of 127 million. However, the main reason why cities are so crowded is that 93% of Japanese people live on only 19% of the country's land. That being said, Japan has an efficient transportation system that takes you almost everywhere around the country, comfortably and easily. However, the trains are so crowded that people called Oshi at the stations are in charge of pushing people inside the train. With its workaholics, flashing neon lights, vending machines, robots, and much more, Japan is like a giant office that is constantly working and moving. More than half of the robots in the world are produced by the Japanese. There is even a hotel where most of its employees are robots. Henna Hotel. Welcome to Henna Hotel. Please use the kiosk machine to complete your check-in. They do many things such as hosting guests, cleaning the rooms, and making coffee. One of the most interesting hotels in Japan are capsule hotels. The capsules are 2 meters long, 1 meter wide, and 1 meter high. These hotels began to be used as places to sleep and meet the needs of the Japanese who worked until late at night and did not want to return home from work. As it is an interesting experience, it is very popular among tourists. Originally the first known owners of these lands were the Ainu people, a community of different appearances and bear worshippers. A total of 30,000 Ainu live in Japan, though many of whom has been assimilated. According to UNESCO, Ainu is an endangered language which is spoken by only 0.7% of its people. The capital Tokyo is the world's largest metropolitan area with a population of 38 million. It is also one of the most expensive cities in the world. Japan is in a multi-layered volcanic archipelago located at the confluence of four main tectonic plates. There are an average of 1,600 earthquakes here every year. Scientists say the 9.0 magnitude earthquake that struck Japan in 2011 was powerful enough to shorten Earth's day by 1.8 microseconds. There are also 55 active volcanoes. Even Mount Fuji, the national symbol of Japan and one of the most famous mountains in the world, is a volcano. Therefore, there are too many hot springs in the country. However, people with tattoos are not allowed to enter these spas, baths, and even pools. Because in Japanese culture, tattoo is identified with the mafia. In Japan, members of an organization called Yakuza cover their bodies with tattoos according to their status. The Japanese government has imposed this ban for the safety of some public settings. You might think that Japanese, the only official language, consists of a single alphabet. But they use three alphabets in total, which are hiragana, katakana, and kanji. There are 20 different words for apologizing in Japanese. And sometimes, people may punish themselves by shaving their hair when they make a mistake, regardless of male or female. In Japan, vehicles drive on the left-hand side of the road as in England. Most of the streets have no names. Addresses are determined by apartment numbers. There are 6 million vending machines on almost every street. 
These machines not only sell snacks and beverages, but also everything from eggs to flowers, from toilet paper to live lobsters. Eel, horse, octopus, charcoal-flavored ice cream, and wasabi Kit Kats are just few of the extraordinary and wonderful flavors you can come across in Japan. Only 22% of the country is suitable for agriculture, so the Japanese found the solution in aquaculture. The Japanese grow everything in the fish farms they set up in their seas, such as shellfish and seaweed. Japan is one of the world's foremost fishing nations, with almost 80% of the tuna catch undertaken by the Japanese. The world's largest fish market, Tsukiji, is located here. Fish is auctioned in the market. The most expensive fish ever sold in 2019 was the 278 kilograms bluefin tuna, which sold for $3 million. Large amount of raw food is used in the Japanese cuisine. The quality of sashimi or the very thinly sliced raw fish, which is served with sushi, is never ever compromised in an authentic Japanese restaurant. In some cases, the fish is kept alive in water and sliced and served only on ordering. Raw horse meat, octopus meat, and whale meat are some of the most popular types of meat in Japan. Raw horse meat is eaten in the form of sashimi, in thin slices dipped in soy sauce. Many restaurants in Japan use replicas to display their popular dishes in their windows and attract customers, and people can decide more easily by seeing the replicas of the dishes on the menu. In Japanese culture, slurping your soup and noodles is quite common and shows how much you enjoy eating. If you really enjoyed your meal, just smile and say thank you, because in Japan, it is perceived as condescending to tip a working adult. There are unusual canned food restaurants in the country. People can prefer these restaurants with hundreds of different food options from all over the world. Sumo wrestlers eat a stew called chankanabe to get fat. Chankanabe, which is considered a very healthy meal and rich in protein, is served with beer and rice to increase calorie intake. Sumo wrestlers consume 7,000 calories per day to maintain their weight, while young wrestlers only need 20,000 calories for the same purpose. That's why they can get fat very easily and quickly. The first to perform having regained the rank of the East Yokozuna, the most prestigious rank among the Grand Champions. The Japanese don't sleep, they don't nab, they do in Amori. Just a perfect day. Drink sangria in the it's not true, of course, but as a cultural and sociological statement, it is very interesting. Inamuri is a Japanese word which means to be asleep while present. It refers to falling asleep in social gatherings, at classes, at work, and at various public functions. In the West, on the other hand, falling asleep at an event is generally viewed as a cause for awkwardness and shame. In Japanese culture, there is a special place for Inamuri, and it is actually viewed as a cause for pride of working hard rather than embarrassment. Even so that the Japanese have a word for phenomenon that distinguishes their work culture, Kuroshi. This word means death from overwork. Since the oil crisis of 1973, the country's labor restructurings have forged labor environments where working more than 70 hours per week is seen as normal and even honorable. The oldest company in the world is a construction company called Kongo Gumi, which has been operating in Japan since 578. After going through hard times in 2006, it became a subsidiary of another construction group. Geisha is one of Japan's most iconic figures, inhabiting a kind of otherworldly realm that has largely escaped the clutches of time. Geisha give us a unique insight into Japan's rich heritage. The literal translation of the word geisha is arts person. First and foremost geisha are artists, entertainers and hostesses who are skilled in a number of traditional Japanese arts. So, how did Japanese geisha gain a reputation for entertaining their guests by less innocent means? The history of Japanese geisha as we know it begins at the turn of the 18th century. The first geisha were actually male, appearing around the year 1730. It was only about 20 years later that female geisha began to appear in the forms of dancers and shamisen players as a result of being hired by upper-class samurai, and they quickly took over the profession, dominating the industry. Modern geisha retain their role as hostesses and are hired to attend parties and gatherings at tea houses and traditional Japanese restaurants. Tourism is one of the few things keeping this tradition afloat, with many visitors to Japan paying to dress up as Mako. Thanks for watching.
If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.